Yeah. What's poppin'? It's brick. It's bricky. It's really good. It's bricky outside, baby. <laughs> it's brick raw. Yo, what's poppin'? What up? What up? What up? What's Goodington? What's Goodington Road? Jam poppin' the building. What up, Goldie? What's populating my G's? Mark A. Lewis, what's poppin', my, my dude? Happy New Year's. You hurt? Yeah, bro. Knife Power, what's poppin'? J. Lou, what's really good? I'm saying no what's popping non Julian what's really what's really what's really I'm just checking in on y'all man cause it's brick I'm sitting in the car it's brick I ain't trying to turn my joint on cause dude's gonna be thinking I'm trying to move out my parking spot and I ain't trying to break dude's hearts right now cause you know it's cold ooh they ooh they want this parking spot nah my dude you gonna have to spin that block for a few more few more minutes out here tonight baby because i ain't moving about this spot baby chirp oh it's really good though man I'm just checking in on y'all man word up man murder megs what up what's popping eaters what's really good the business what's popping frankie b what up happy new year my nigga what's really good rough buff in the building what's populating I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. Did I get a, a shout out on the 21 wrap up? I doubt it. I doubt it highly, my brother. Mark A. Lewis was populating. Urban Dog Show was popping. Craig Martin was really good. Yeah, I heard it's real bad, man, on I-95 in Virginia right now. I heard snowstorm got traffic backed up for hours. Dude stuck on the highway and all of that, man. It's not good. I don't know what be going on with VA and all of that. When they get snow, it be getting hectic out there. Word up. Anytime television was populating. Yeah, man. Comment gang in the building, man. Make sure y'all comment on the latest videos, man. Comment on the last three, four uploads. If you want to show that love to the Gem Pop fam, leave a comment on the last three or four uploads. I don't care what you comment. Comment anything. Make that algorithm get crazy. Share that on Facebook. If you got a Facebook, share your favorite mm -hmm. story on Facebook, man. Somebody else in your, in your friends list is going to want to watch that, too. You heard we need all that Facebook love. We need all them likes, all them shares, all them comments. You feel what I'm saying? All them subscribers, man. Shout out to all the new subscribers, man. We got like 2,000 new subscribers this month. You heard? Shout out to all y'all. Hammerhead, what's popping? Pause. Tito Ranks was really good. Irvin Jenkins was populating. Yeah, you know that uncle that uncle murder wrap up, man. That shit is like ten thousand bars, so you know you you it's hard to catch everything in that shit. You heard? It's hard to catch everything up in there, but nah, man. Ramsey Rainey was populating, my nigga. Hold up, man. Yeah, man, I'm trying to do the goddamn thing. I'm going to keep it real with you, bro. Like, all of this um, this pandemic shit that's going on, that shit fucking up YouTube paper, bro. That shit fucking up the YouTube paper, my nigga. Niggas don't want to put ads on shit if everybody going to be locked down. If everybody going to be in the house because of the pandemic, niggas ain't trying to put no ads out like that. So that shit fucking up bread and all of that. Everybody suffers when that shit pops off, my nigga. 
I'm going to keep it trail. I mean, yeah, they can't stop the grind, man. Nothing ain't stopping the grind, man. Real talk. Nothing ain't stopping the grind, baby. I'm still doing a movie. I ain't playing no games. I'm editing a movie right now, my nigga. I should go film a segment tonight, but I don't want to move out my parking spot. Real facts. Word up. I mean, this shit that I do is kind of like a podcast, man. You feel what I'm saying? I just do it all audio. I don't really do a video part. Then even the video shit's like a video podcast. Know what I mean? So it's like, you know, that's what this shit really kind of is, man. So, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I'm about to do big shit, though, my nigga. I'm seeing a lot of motherfucking, I'm seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of big things happening, man. I'm seeing a lot of big things happening, my nigga. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, man. Yeah, bro. You know, at the rate at the rate this shit is going right now, man, it's like my mind is concentrated on these hundred thousand subscribers. You feel me? Once I get to 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to feel like I accomplished something. You heard? Once I get to 50,000 subscribers, I'm going to feel like I accomplished something. But when I get to that yuck, when I get to that yuck do you heard? When I get to that nasty yuck, that's when I'm going to be feeling myself for real, for real. And that's a fact. 91 Against All Odds was populating, my nigga. Antonio Cabin was popping, my nigga. I appreciate you, my nigga. I appreciate you watching the channel, my nigga. Know what I mean, keep tuned in, man. We got we got a whole bunch of uploads, whole bunch of stories on the channel. You feel what I'm saying? It takes months to it takes months to watch all of the shit that we got on the channel, man. So you feel me? Enjoy that two three months of binge watch binge watching. I think Teflon from MOP is still around. I'm not sure, but I, I, I'm 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 pretty sure if Sun is, I think Sun is still doing his thing. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. You know what the next move is, my nigga. Next music I put out, that shit gonna be an NFT, my nigga. I ain't playing no games with these niggas out here, my nigga. Next album I put out, that shit gonna be an NFT, my nigga. You heard? Yeah, my nigga. That comment gang, though, that comment gang is is a very, a very much importance. You know why? Because if you from outside of New York, like if you from other places, you help spread that shit by commenting. You feel me? YouTube will start pushing it to people in your in your region. You feel me? So if they start seeing five VA niggas is, is commenting, that shit will start popping up in the VA feed. Now, I mean, more often, you understand? So that's why that comment gang is important, my nigga. It helps people from your region see the material. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro. String wonder. Was in public school with me and shit. You know what I mean? Grew up with me in the Ville and shit like that. You feel me? So, son definitely was nice on that OGC camp. You know what I mean, the whole boot camp click was fire. When I was up north, I had that Shining, the Shining album, Smith & Wesson. That shit was bananas. That shit is like one of the greatest albums that ever came out. Real talk. Ohio in the building was popping. Tony G was really good. Jose Romeo was popping. You know I need that Cali love, my nigga. Pablo G, what up? Valentino, peace. You already know, my nigga. Marlon Wayne's face. I can't I can't do that shit in the dark, but you already know. Marlon Wayne's nose on deck. You heard? I re-released that Marlon Wayne's face joint because 
when I released it the first time, I kind of OD'd and released like three episodes in one day. You feel what I'm saying? Or some shit like that. So that shit like really hit the back burner and didn't get the push that it was supposed to get. So now the views that the Marlon Wayne's face is getting, that's basically making up for the views it was supposed to get in the first place. You feel what I'm saying? Word up. Hold on, man. Let me move. Let me back my car up a minute, man, because I want to do hitting my shit. Hold on. I hate New York, man, sometimes. I swear to God, bro. Because you can't, you can't get in your fucking car for two seconds without a nigga running down on you. Like, nigga, you're going to be mad tonight, nigga. You're going to be mad tonight, homie. But it's like, I don't do that shit. Like, when I see a motherfucker get in his car, I don't drive up on the side of a nigga and all of that. Like, that's psycho shit. Sorry. Nah. Nah. Keep it moving. Bitch driving mad close to my shit. Like, you mad inches away from my car. Like, this is why insurance is so high in New York. I swear to you, bro. Because people are stupid. It's the stupidest drivers in the world out here, my nigga. Like, this fucking bitch sitting next to me. Bitch inches from my car. Like, move your shit the fuck over, my nigga. Like, why you, why you so close to my shit, nigga? You uncomfortably close to my shit. Like, move that dirty shit away from my shit, nigga. Real fucking talk. Nah, nigga. Yeah, I ain't, I mean, I don't be out here beefing with none of these niggas. I ain't beefing with nobody, my nigga, but... It's just a stupid broad that's trying to park, but it's like my nigga. I don't if you if you so close to my car where I can't open up my driver's door, you too fucking close, my nigga. You hurt? So like, just stupid people, man. Stupid people do. You you play silly games, you win silly prizes, my nigga. You know what I mean? But it's like I don't do none of that. Like if I see a nigga get in his car, I don't drive right up to the side of the nigga. Yo, you moving? I don't do that, bro. If he moving, I'm going to tell by how he get in his car. If the lights come on, if the mirrors come out, I'm going to tell by that if a nigga moving. I ain't running up on the side of a nigga. Yo, you moving? Like, bro, don't do that shit, my nigga. Don't even pull your car up to the side of my car. Nigga, this New York. Niggas get shot out here. Don't pull your car up to the side of my car asking nothing, my nigga. I don't like that shit, man. Word. I don't like thirsty shit like that. Like, nigga, see you walk into your car, nigga, like this. Like, chill out, my nigga. And then the reason why I really hate that shit is because when I was living in Dykeman, nigga, it was times I had to park my car nine, ten blocks away, my nigga. You heard? It was times I had to park my car nine, ten blocks away. So... I hate, I hate when people want a motherfucking... Your shit too close to my shit, my nigga. So I hate when people always want to park, like, right in front of their building. Like, my nigga, you may have to park that shit on another block and walk to your crib, my nigga. Look, my red... You see, my, my motherfucking sensor is going off in my car because they too close to my car. So anytime another car gets too close to my car, the red sensor lights up on my doors like to warn me that somebody's too close to my car. Like, nigga, get away from my shit, man. Man, man, sense ain't common. Sense ain't common amongst the people, bro. I understand that. But bottom line is, my nigga, when I'm driving, I'm mindful of other people's cars. You understand what I'm saying? I don't tailgate when I'm driving because that's the number one way to get into a car accident. Tailgating, riding too close. If you can't see the two a person's two wheels in front of your car, you too close to them. You should always be able to see the, the, the back two tires 
of the car in front of you. If you can't, you too close. And if they happen to jam on their brakes for any any reason, you're going to hit the back of their shit. Boom. And that's a no-fall accident. Your insurance is going up and they going to get paid. I done got paid two or three times from a motherfucker tailgating me, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Niggas hit my shit. Boom. I don't even get mad. I'll be like, all right. You want to tailgate? That little dent right there going to cost you about two, three thousand dollars insurance. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. So, you know what I mean? Tailgating, I, I don't like that. If a nigga tailgating me, I'll pull over. Go ahead, bro. Go in front of me. You in a rush that way? You in a rush that bad, my nigga? I'll let you go in front of me, my nigga. Because all that tailgating me shit, I don't do that and I don't let a nigga tailgate me. You feel what I'm saying? When I'm double parking my car on the street, like if I got to wait for somebody to come down or I got to run upstairs, I don't double park my car to a point where another nigga can't get inside his car. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you're going to be able to at least get in and out of your car, my nigga. Like, you feel me? I don't do shit like that. Motherfuckers do shit like that. When I park my car on the street next to a nigga car, if I can't fit, if it ain't enough room, my nigga... I'm out of there. I'm not going to squeeze my car into a parking spot where my shit touching your bumper like this. Like, you feel me? I'm not doing none of that. Even if my car is too close to another nigga car, that ain't the parking spot for me, my nigga. Because I know when he try to move, when I'm not there, he going to be reckless and backing up crazy into my shit and all of that. So I don't even set myself up for that. You feel what I'm saying? I don't do none of that, my nigga. Shit, nigga. In New York, you got to park. You got to. I, I park my car anywhere in my neighborhood, my nigga, that I'm familiar with. And I walk back. All that trying to park in front of my building shit and all of that, nigga, that's for spoiled niggas. It's New York, nigga. I find a parking spot four or five blocks away. I'm Gucci. But in Dykeman, you might have the motherfucking. You might have to park nine, ten blocks away. That's a fact, my nigga. Or you gonna be sitting in front of the building. I be seeing niggas in indictment. Niggas be sitting in front of the building or behind the building for three, four hours waiting for a parking spot. I'm not doing none of that, my nigga. I'll go, I'll go park my shit eight blocks away if I have to before I sit in my shit for four and six hours and all of that. I ain't doing that. Or I'll go put my shit in the lot respectfully, my nigga. That shit ain't nothing but ten, twelve dollars. You heard? I go throw my shit right in the lot, but I'm not sitting around. For four hours and three hours because I feel like parking next to my building. That's psycho shit. And I be seeing niggas do that all the time. Real talk, my nigga. Light skin Rory. Real fact, my nigga. You got to sometimes you got to get home, nigga. I, anywhere I see an open spot in the vicinity of five blocks in my crib, I'm taking that shit, my nigga. Sometimes it be if it's freezing cold on the late night. I will park and call a fucking Uber, my nigga. Yo, take me to my crib. Should be five, six blocks away. I paid a little seven, eight dollars, whatever, nigga. Get me to my crib. Mm -hmm. Real talk. Queen Rod was popping. Freddy Acevedo was populating, my nigga. O'Neal Perez was populating. That's a fact. Goodfella 331. But, you know, insurance is skyrocketing in New York, bro, because people do stupid shit. Like, remember the other day I was on live, I seen a nigga smash a nigga car, my nigga. This nigga trying to park his car and something is wrong with his with his acceleration where he keep jumping his car forward. You feel what I'm saying? He comes up behind another car. That shit jumps his car forward. Boom! Smashes a nigga bumper crazily. Mm -hmm. You understand? That nigga pulled that shit back and pulled right off, my nigga. Like, yo, I'm out. This is why insurance is skyrocketing in New York. Because a nigga just hit your car, bro, and keep it moving. You feel me? It's too many idiots on the road, my nigga. Too many niggas on the road who don't know how to drive. Nah, I can't. I got to have a car, my nigga. I got kids. You feel what I'm saying? Real talk. I got kids, so I got to have a car. That shit ain't even, it ain't even, up. Uh, it ain't even my option. My kids be having all type of dance classes and motherfucking extracurriculum shit and, you know what I mean? And all type of wildness, so a nigga like me, I got to, I got a motherfucking, um, I got to have a, a V, my nigga. Know what I mean?
Mike Lopez was populating. Mr. Blonde, what up? West Channel, what up? Craig Martin was really good. Talking hip hop piece. Seth Triplett was really. PG Talent, what up? Happy New Year, my brother. ATL on the check in was populating. Ray Ray ATL was populating. D Money was really good. Blood on the razor wire. I appreciate you, my brother. Y'all niggas go, go subscribe to the bro. Blood on the razor wire in the building right now. You heard? Yo, you want to hear some crazy shit? I just heard on the news today, right? Nigga tried to jack a nigga for an Audi Q7 in Queens today and shot the nigga or whatever. He going to live or whatever. I'm glad you brought that up. Let me tell you how stupid motherfuckers is. And let me let me give you a message for young niggas who's may, who may be out there committing crimes, doing dumb shit. First of all, if you see a luxury SUV in the streets, whether it's a Mercedes, a BMW, a motherfucking Audi Q7, if you see a brand new luxury vehicle in the streets, my nigga, 99, 99.9 .9 out of 100 times, that shit is a lease, my nigga. Nobody's buying a $70,000 car cash money. Nobody does that. You heard? And the only way you're getting a brand new 2021 luxury car on the road most of the time is on a lease. Now, if a car is a lease, my nigga, that shit has GPS tracking that will literally send a preset to your crib if that car gets stolen or wherever the fuck you at. You heard? So if you're trying to carjack somebody for something 2021, most likely you're trying to carjack somebody for a lease. Now, if somebody was to try to carjack me, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say, no problem, sir. And I'm going to open my door and step the fuck out my car. You know why? Because I pay insurance, my nigga. My shit is fully covered. If a nigga, I'm not fighting with a nigga over Audi's car. This is Audi's car. You understand what I'm saying? I pay full insurance for full coverage, my nigga. You could take this bitch. When you drive off, I'm going to go on my app and be and put vehicle stolen. Boop. And that shit is going to call every fucking cop in the, in, the, in the vicinity. And you got about five, ten minutes to get that shit to a boat or wherever you getting it to, my nigga. Because the GPS tracking on that shit is going to call the whole tight entire precinct. So you could go right on ahead with that motherfucker. I'm going to fill out this motherfucking uh, stolen car report. And, and within five, six days... Um, Geico will be telling me, yo, go back to Audi of Queens and go get you a new car. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm not fighting with a nigga or wrestling with a nigga over no leased vehicle, my nigga. No way. I pay insurance. Peace, my nigga. Enjoy that. I got satellite radio in there. Uh, Rock the Bells radio. LL Cool J channel is on there. Programming the favorites. Just hit that number one right there. And I'll see you, my nigga. Peace. I'm not fighting with a nigga over Audi shit. You heard? My shit insured, my nigga. So, young niggas out there, bro, if you jacking shit, bro, don't jack a motherfucking leased vehicle. Because I'm telling you, my nigga, this shit got satellite GPS on it. Not only will it track you, it will track you to your exact location, my nigga. You, you heard? Like, the foot, the it, it'll show them on the map exactly where you at, bro. So, that's a dumb carjacking. You heard? Don't carjack some shit with motherfucking built-in satellite GPS. These people protect a lease, my nigga. They protecting that. They don't trust me with it. They think I might drive out, drive to another country with this shit somewhere. You feel what I'm saying? So they on me with it. So imagine that I report this shit stolen, nigga. You got about 10 minutes of joyriding. Your ass is a rat, nigga. You heard? I'd be on the phone with Geico like, yeah, I think I'm going to do a gray one this time instead of the black one. You heard? Louisiana was popping. Royce Madison was really good. Seven Seals was populating. David Oway was popping. Mike Lopez, what up? Yeah, they could take this shit to the chop shop. They could do all of that, my nigga. I, I pay Geico. Geico got to worry about that, my nigga. You heard?
Audi ain't even going to worry about it. Geico going to be like, all right, we're going to cut the check. They're going to cut the check to the dealership, and the dealership going to issue me a new car. You understand what I'm saying? So I ain't fighting with no nigga. Carlo C was populating BX in the building. You heard? Real talk. But yeah, nigga got shot trying to defend his Q7, which is what I drive. The nigga had the exact same car that I had, my nigga. You can look that shit up on the news right now. Um, attempted carjacking leaves man shot in Queens. Nigga got nigga tried to jack that nigga for the same exact car that I have, my nigga. So it's real. Stupid people are stupid. Like you can't expect a criminal to be intelligent. Like a lot of these niggas is dumb out here. You feel what I'm saying? So they're going to try to jack some shit that they're going to get two blocks in. You feel me? And then this nigga, who knows? He might have fought with them niggas or wrestled with them niggas. I ain't doing none of that, my nigga. I ain't doing none of that, my nigga. I mean, y'all niggas want to go to jail, go to jail, my nigga. I got Geico. That's all I got to say. But um, that shit was scary, my nigga. But I don't be lingering. I don't be lingering and, and laying around and laying around in niggas' hoods and all of that. I ain't with none of that shit, my nigga. I be in Soho's behind the Whole Foods, man. You heard? You looking for lads, man. I be in motherfucking uh, Gristidi's, nigga. I be on a block. I be in front of Gristidi's some motherfucking way, nigga. Like, you heard? My shit in motherfucking... Uh, I'm trying to find a guard. I'm in Chelsea. You heard? I'm in Chelsea some motherfucking way. I mean, I'm on First Avenue and 18th Street. I'm on York Avenue and shit. Like, I mean, I niggas, I ain't worried about niggas over there, my nigga. You heard? Mm -hmm. I'm chilling like a villain. Yeah, Geico, let me tell you. I hate paying them motherfuckers because they're expensive as a bitch. But one thing I say about Geico, nigga... You ain't got to do no worrying, my nigga. You know how other insurance companies, you got to wrestle and fight with them niggas for your money? Geico, they don't got no time for that shit, my nigga. They like, what? You crash your shit? Where it's your total? All right, son, we got you, son. Two days, three days, nigga. They going to send a motherfucking adjuster out there. Three, four days, nigga. You going to have a check in the mail, nigga, for the full amount of your car, my nigga. You heard? And they're going to be like, may we suggest a couple of dealerships that you may want to visit? You feel what I'm saying? So, my nigga Vaughn P in the building was popping peace to the bro. Know what I mean? DC in the building, my nigga, was really good. But yeah, Geico ain't playing them games, man. These other niggas be playing games. Nah, I'm not moving, Poppy. That's why I'm sitting in the passenger seat instead of the driver's seat. Peace. Good night. Yeah, progressive. None of them, none of them big, none of them big uh company. Nigga pulled up on me, asked me if I'm leaving. And I'm sitting in a dark car in the pass in the passenger seat, my nigga. I'm not even in the driver's seat, my nigga. Ain't no lights on in my car. I'm in my car freezing. Nigga still pulling up. Yo, you moving? These niggas just don't quit, my nigga. Official cam, yeah, I'm safe, my nigga. I be chilling, my nigga. I be out the way, bro. I be out the way all the way, my nigga. Real talk, my nigga. I'm too old for the bullshit, my nigga. I'm an old man, my nigga. You heard? I be all the way out the way, my nigga. Free the guys, CT in the building was populating. Main sprawl was popping, my nigga. Philly in the building was really. Greg Johnson, what up? Yeah, bros. Tina Smith was really good. Frankie B, what up? Yeah, man. Double Scoop Vito was populating, my nigga. Yo, I got all type of shit coming to the channel, my nigga. Know what I mean? You said that's wild, my nigga. Niggas rolling up to the window. That shit is rude. Even in New York, that shit is rude, my nigga. Know what I mean? That niggas be doing shit like holding parking spots. Like you pull up on the block, it be a chick standing there talking about my boyfriend is coming. Nigga take nigga nigga on his way home from work. Like hold me the spot. She's standing out there like nah, bitch. 
You can't be doing shit like that out here, my nigga. That shit will get you hurt out here, my nigga. Like, nigga come home from a long ass day at work. He trying to park on the spot. You stand there talking about, nah, my boyfriend is on the way. Where he at? He should be here any minute. Nah, my nigga, move the fuck out the way. You heard? And that's how incidents happen out here, my nigga, over parking spots. So you got to you gotta learn to take the high road and be like, all right, clown ass bitch, I'm out. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't even going to sit here arguing with you over a parking spot, my nigga. But bitch catch you on a long late night tip. Be on a late night tip. Bro, be holding a nigga, be holding the spot. Nah, yo, my man is like, what? I'm telling you, bro. It's ugly. Jerome Baylor, what up? Be more in the building. was populating. Shit, I was in a bad accident too, but I was fucked up, my nigga. That's a whole nother movie st series story that I'm going to tell soon, you feel me? My car accident that I had that changed my whole life. That shit fucked me up, nigga. We got thrashed. Whole bunch of lessons to be taught in that shit. Damn, this nigga dog big as a motherfucker. Nigga, you might as well be living with a motherfucking... You might as well come out the building with a linebacker. Nigga, you might, might as well have a San Francisco 49er linebacker on a leash walking that motherfucker down the block, nigga. I'm gooch. I can't be having that bitch up in my crib, nigga. That nigga need a job. That nigga dog need a job. That shit's so big. Word is Bon Jovell. Yeah, I want to roll up, but it's, it's cold out this motherfucker, my nigga. Like... Yeah, bro, I was in a, I was in a bad one, bro. I was in a gym. When I had the bad accident, I was in a, a, a Grand Cherokee. I ain't going to lie, that Grand Cherokee held it down on my nigga. Them shits is like little tanks. You heard? Them shits is like little tanks. That Grand Cherokee held it down. It held that impact down. I shit was totaled, but none of us was like, we was hurt, but none of us was like bleeding and shit, like legs hanging off and shit like that. I think it's literally another nigga standing on the side of my car thinking that I'm going to move right now. Like these niggas is crazy, son. I'm going to call. I'm going to end the live in a minute, man, because, you know, these people is really retarded out here. My nigga, for lack of a better word, man. Queens in the building What's popping Boston. What's really good. Yeah, bro. I'm, I'm familiar with Allenton, but Allenton, man, listen, let me tell you, bro. Let me tell you, you want to get your window smashed in, my nigga? <sighs> live in the Bronx, my nigga. Like, oh, my God. I used to live on Pelham Parkway. Nigga, you leave anything in your car, that shit getting smashed. And the parking on Pelham Parkway, I used to live in Pelham I used to live on Kruger. I used to live on Kruger and La Dig. Yo, that's my word, my bro. Between La Dig and, and, and Pelham Parkway. The parking over there, my nigga, that shit will make you cry, bro. You will cry waiting for parking in that motherfucker, bro. Straight up. If you live over there, you better have something to do early in the morning, my nigga, so that you could just park in a 7 o'clock spot and get your ass up and, and, and get up out of there. But if you don't get up in the morning and you just got a regular car that you just want to park, you ain't going to enjoy living in Pelham Parkway, my nigga. That shit is treacherous with parking. Them and Dykeman is running neck and neck. I don't know which one is worse, Dykeman or Pelham Parkway, my nigga. Them shit's running neck and neck. You heard? The Bronx is fucked up with that parking, bro. Brooklyn ain't too better. But in certain areas like East New York, you can find parking all day. But pff, other spots, you be fucked up. Word up. Tina Smith, I appreciate you, man. You know, my, my, my female audience is at 6.3%. You heard? It's at an all-time high right now. 6.3% of female use. But, you know, I know it'd be more females watching. They just be watching on a nigga's account or with they men. You feel what I'm saying? But uh, it's only 7% of female accounts on YouTube watching the channel. But I'm happy for that 7%. That means out of, out of every 100 motherfuckers watching the channel, 7 of them is women. That ain't bad. You heard? So, you know. 
It ain't a full-fledged sausage party in this motherfucker. You heard? It ain't a full-fledged saucy, saucy gang. Yeah, nothing is worse than Castle Hill, my nigga. You heard? Small Lido's way. Real talk, my nigga. Ain't no place in New York City. Now, matter of fact, not even Castle Hill, my nigga. Park Chester. There is nothing, there is no parking worse in this, in the country than Park Chester, my nigga. If you live in Park Chester in the Bronx, don't have a car, my nigga. My man used to live in Park Chester. Oh, my God. That nigga used to have to park his car in Castle Hill, my nigga, and take a cab home. You heard? There is no parking in Park Chester. And the shit, <laughs> and the shit is ironically called Park Chester. But there is no fucking parking in Park Chester, my nigga. I'm telling you. You will go crazy out that motherfucker trying to find parking. Straight up. Ain't nothing worse than Park Chester in the whole city, my nigga. They need to really help those people out over there and, and, and build some parking for them because that shit is insane. Nah, I never been to Cleveland, man. I need to get up out there, man. You heard? I need to get up out there, bro. That's a fact. Word up. Yo, I ain't hear about that Antonio Brown joint, man. I've been out the loop, my bro. That's crazy. I seen, I think I seen dudes making some memes, but that's crazy, bro. People out here going crazy like that. Yeah, my nigga. Yeah, but that Antonio Brown shit, man. I gotta when he did that shit, man. Niggas out here bugging out, my nigga. Timothy Strickland was popping. J. Rod Hamilton was really good. Anthony Green was popping. Number number one two nine was popping. Eugene Hayes was really good. Fresno was populating. Yeah, Co-op City is another joint, bro. Ain't no parking in Co-op City. That shit be looking crazy out there. Like, nigga gotta, and they gotta decide whether or not he want a life or a parking spot in that motherfucker. Like, you can get a parking spot. You just can't go nowhere. You gotta, you, either you get the parking spot or you get the life. Know what I mean? I, I don't live my life like that, my nigga. I don't care. I leave a parking spot. If I gotta go do something, that shit going to get done, my nigga. Real talk. John Doe, I appreciate that donation, my bro. Good looking out, my nigga. Nigga need it right about now, man. YouTube fucking up my money, my nigga. I need all them donations. Shit hectic out here for a poor nigga. You heard? T. Dot Boston was really good. Bean Town in the building was, was popping. Yeah, bro. I got a DFY story, man. I got to do it over. Shout out to my nigga Glock. You heard? I got to do that DFY story over with my bro, but I got some DFY stories for niggas' asses, man. Trust me. They coming soon. I know I know every motherfucking nigga that was in DFY, that was in DFY name going crazy. I know them, bro. Trust me. Know what I mean? Yeah, bro. My cash app, the cash app is motherfucking dollar sign gen pop fam, my nigga. For anybody who want to send that cash app, dollar sign, gem pop fan, good looking, man. Good looking for all the dudes who be hitting that cash app up, my nigga. I appreciate y'all. You heard? That Venmo, Venmo is gem pop lads, and that PayPal, Z-Man, b -Ville. You heard? Z-Man, Suicide Polo with the Ski Man. You heard? So when you see that Z-Man, you know that's my official PayPal. But like, yeah, my niggas. Samuela was popping. G Dollar was really good. Peacock Wing was popping. Pause. Rockstar Little Man was populating, my G's. 
Mark A. Lewis, what's good, my G's? Yeah, man. Now, I mean, I had to come on here and check in with the peoples, my dude. We in a new year right now. Happy to be here. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers ain't make it. Now, I mean, shit is real out here, nigga. New Year's is a, a new year is a serious thing nowadays, my nigga. Because shit is crazy out here. We living in the craziest times of in, in history, my nigga. We living in the craziest times in the world's history, my nigga. You heard? I'm happy to say we got to witness this shit. The shit crazy out here, my nigga. The world is fucking going crazy. The world is mad. Real talk. The future is uncertain out this motherfucker. Like, we don't know. I was watching this movie yesterday. That shit was crazy. Um, That shit um, only... That's where the disease was out that was affecting motherfucking women and killing off nothing but women. That shit was wild, my nigga. That shit was wild. There's a lot of disease movies out. I'm trying to tell us some things. Yeah, I don't even like to, I don't even like talking about none of that. COVID shit, none of that shit on here because I be thinking niggas be these niggas be secretly, I was watching some shit on YouTube today, them niggas got mad guidelines for 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 speaking about anything COVID related, my nigga they got like 40 guidelines waiting to, de waiting to delete your account for the wrong thing said, my nigga like, shit crazy, my nigga shit crazy out here so it's like, I'm gonna leave that whole shit alone, nigga Real talk. Yeah, I saw that Black Summer shit. That shit was hard, too. I've been binge watching all type of shit on Netflix lately. That shit was wild. I watched that other joint the other day, too. That shit was crazy. That don't look up. That don't look up shit about the comet. That shit was crazy. That shit was crazy, bruh. And I'm going to keep it real with y'all, my nigga. I watched Candyman the other day, and that shit wasn't nowhere near as terrible as niggas said it was. That shit was decent, my nigga. It wasn't great as great as the original Candyman, but that shit was decent, my nigga. I thought it was ridiculously horrible and garbage, and they fucked it up for life. It wasn't that bad, my nigga. That shit was all right, my nigga. Real talk. That shit was all right. I could watch it again. The only thing, it was a couple of little corny things I ain't like. Like, like the dude with the big nose that was telling him the story of the different candy mans. How he ended up turning into a crazy nigga. That was kind of corny. But aside from that, that shit was a good movie. My shit was decent, my nigga. That shit was decent. Don't look up. That shit was flames. Don't Look Up was flames, my nigga. And there's a lot of subliminal shit in that Don't Look Up movie, too. A lot of subliminal shit, bro. Yeah, I saw the heart of day for. We talking about the Black Cowboy joint? I already really don't, don't remember it so much, but I know I watched it. Yo, bro, listen. The new Matrix... I got mixed feelings about the new Matrix, my nigga. Like, I got to watch it again, son. I got to watch it again, son. Because it was a lot of shit. I wasn't, I wasn't too thrilled about the new Matrix, man. I wasn't too thrilled. But I, I'm going to give it a second watch. You heard? Because I was slightly distracted at certain parts. So it deserves a second watch. I'm happy to see Keanu Reeves make a comeback. And I'm happy to see him get a big budget film like that. You understand what I'm saying? And put him back in the fucking realms where he's supposed to be. I'm happy to see that. Um, the Morpheus reincarnated thing. I got to watch it again, bro. I got to watch it again. But I will say I wasn't blown away. But it was all right.
Yeah, man, the Matrix is, you know, e you, even people that ain't movie buffs love the Matrix. Like, I, I thought it was a lie that they was coming out with a new Matrix. Like, so, you know, I was expecting a whole, whole lot from it, my nigga. A whole lot from it. You heard? So I'm going to watch it again. Because sometimes you really do got to watch a movie twice, man, to, to really absorb that shit. Like, so I'm going to watch The Matrix again. See what it's talking about, man. Ace mm -hmm. Boogie, good looking, bro. I appreciate you, my bro. You're always showing that love. I appreciate you. Jasmine Quinones was popping. King of Blocks was really good. Alberto Cabrera was really good. Like, you know what, what horror shit I never watched? I never watched Saw, my nigga. Because there's too many parts to that shit. Like, it's too much for me to catch up on. I never watched Saw. I never watched motherfucking The Human Centipede. I never watched that shit either, bro. Some of them shits be too silly for me, man. Yeah, The Matrix shit, like, I don't know. I gotta watch it again. I, you know, I, I kind of respect the plot. Like, you back in The Matrix... They made you believe that you was a major video game maker. Like, eh, eh. I don't know, bro. I'm going to give it another joint, though. My nigga, listen, let me tell you something, bro. You know. They not playing with none of that shit, my nigga. They going to be running down on niggas. Like, niggas be putting all their business out on social media. These niggas don't be wanting to stay in the streets, my nigga. I'm going to keep it real with you, man. A lot of niggas out here don't want to stay in these streets, my nigga. Niggas be throwing motherfucking rocks at the penitentiary all day, every day, my nigga. You keep throwing rocks at the penitentiary, they going to open up the gates for you and let you in, my nigga. Trust me. You keep throwing them rocks at the pen, they're going to say, come on in then, God damn it. We got, we'll make room for you. Word, Jada Pickett. I ain't even know that was Jada Pickett So I read the crowd. I'm like, yo, come on, bro. They had her looking all crazy like, come on, my cheese. Shit was, shit was a little bugged out, my nigga. Man, listen, I'm so happy de Blasio is out of office. I don't care who's in office, man. Anybody but that dude, man. Because that dude is annoying, man. Nigga mandated everything, nigga. Word up, man. Deja Ellington was popping. The bigger bang, exactly, my bro. These niggas out these niggas be out here. These niggas be out here. You might as well dial nine one one, nigga. <laughs> you say you human centipede is realistic? I, I know that's sarcasm. I ain't even know they was coming out with a new scream. I checked that shit. Scream is always dope though, man. But you know, when they start making scream part forty seven and all of that, then that's when I be that's when I head out like Spongebob, my nigga. Pablo G, nah, what's that, my nigga? Sean Jenkins. Red Rum, what's poppin'? Dasmond Parsons, what's really good? Man O' Mac, what's populating? Truth of Facts, what's really? Yeah, man. But I don't like that though, man. I don't like I don't like niggas. I don't like to see a movie get ruined for some money, my nigga. Like, make that shit make sense, nigga. Make that shit make sense. I mean, you know, it's crazy, man, because like it's it's kind of like fucking crazy that these people actually stole that script from that black woman, my nigga. Like mm -hmm. that black broad be on Instagram looking like she's still trying to get the word out. That she fucking wrote the movie and she wrote the Terminator. Like these motherfuckers robbed the shit out of that out that broad, made zillions of dollars. I hope she got some motherfucking money from them shits, my nigga. And I hope she has something to do with the new Matrix movie that came out. Did the new black did the black chick that they found out they stole the script from? Did she have anything to do with the new Matrix movie? I hope so, my nigga. Real talk.
Yeah, Killer Kev be coming on the come, Killer Kev be coming in the in the um in the chat sometimes showing love. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to Killer Kev. But you know, I, like I always say, man, I knew I I don't know Kev personally, but I know who Kev is from Brownsville way before YouTube. You you heard? Like I knew who son was from the hood. Nah, my nigga, my man got some, my man got the Mike Tyson stories, man. He be he be fronting on me though, but my man got them old school Mike Tyson stories before he was a famous boxer stories. So you know what I mean, one day soon, my nigga, pop up with them shits like, nigga, dumb close to my shit, my nigga. Word up, Slick Tom was popping. Action movies, my nigga, I don't know, man, because I like action movies, but that's not my favorite genre. Like, I, I really only like, like, crime dramas. Like, I watch all type of movies, but I like crime dramas mostly, and I like motherfucking, like, science fiction shit. Like, I like horror films too, man, but a dude like me, I'm hard to please with a horror film, my nigga. Like, that shit gotta be phenomenal. I don't be liking trash horror films, like, you feel me? I don't be liking them shits, my nigga. Damn. I don't got no motherfucking can opener in here. Oh, man. I don't got no can opener, man. I'm gonna hit this brewski on the low, work. Damn. Hold my head. This shit ice cold like the North Pole, nigga. Nigga, Brewski game ice cold like the North Pole, nigga. Let me hit the Fiji, man. Let me hit that Fiji in the head, man. Shout out my nigga John Dilly. You know, we be on our Fiji grind, man. You heard? Shit be delicious. I be seeing the Frank Ferdinand's. You know how the niggas sell, sell Franks with the Frank stands in New York? The niggas be washing that shit out with the motherfucking Johnny pump with the high fire hydrant water, man. I be seeing them niggas washing that shit out at the end of the day with fire hydrant water, right? Now, are we to believe that you're not also boiling those Franks in fire hydrant water, sir? Them niggas boiling them Franks in fire hydrant water, my nigga. That's why them shits is so delicious, you heard? So when y'all niggas be getting them hot dogs off them stands in New York, my nigga, best believe them shits was boiled in some good New York City gin, my nigga. That shit came from the Johnny Pump, nigga. You heard? That's why them tourists can't stop buying them shits, nigga. That water. That water and that hot dog. Word the mother. Yeah, I don't know how to do that lighter trick with the with the motherfucking with the with the cat, my nigga. Like my luck, I split my whole finger the fuck open with one of them bottle caps, my nigga. But I gotta learn to do that. I know how to do it with some other shit. And I know how to do that shit on the side of a wall, all of that. I don't be playing no games. But um I ain't trying to do that shit on nothing in my car and fuck my car up. I got keys and shit, but I ain't fucking with that shit. That key shit, just my luck, nigga. Shit just slide off that shit right on live. Blood just squirt on the camera. Know what I mean? Fax Media was popping. Nostra Nav was populating. Mm -hmm. Epic Eric was popping. Yeah, that was kind of weird with the Oracle. Like, that was supposed to be the old Oracle again or something like that. The fat Oracle. Like, she was skinny now or something. Like, what the fuck was that about? That's why I said I got to watch that Matrix shit over, my nigga. Shit was confusing and all over the place, my nigga. You 
Yeah, man. You know, they say New York's New York water is alkaline. Like, probably in Manhattan is alkaline. Probably in Midtown is alkaline and shit. Chelsea and shit, but that shit ain't alkaline in the hood. Yeah, I remember Hollow Man. I saw Hollow Man. I saw Hollow Man. I think I saw Hollow Man part, part one and two. Gio Roche was popping, my nigga. Troy Ave was really good. President was really. Barry, man, I appreciate you, my brother. Appreciate you. Appreciate you watching the channel, my nigga. Word, I forgot about the seatbelt clip. That shit will get it done. But I done drink the water. Now, let me tell you. If you suffer, if you... If you a beer drinker and you want to stop drinking beer, the only thing you need to do, my nigga, is drink water. Anytime you get a motherfucking uh, urge for a beer, you drink some water, that shit goes right away. <clears throat> Every time I want a beer, if I drink water, that shit ruins the lust for the beer. I don't want it no more. I wait another few hours and then I want it again. Because that's what you really be, you be craving, that fucking water that's in that beer. When you drink that shit, you be like, when you drink some regular water, you be like, I'm good. Jimmy Smith was popping. Yeah, shout out to the bro L Famous New Bronx voice on the channel. You heard we got some up north stories coming soon and some Bronx stories coming soon. You heard. But shout out to my nigga with the Murder Mod 9 stories. Them shits is epic. Now, I mean, leave a comment on his new episode about Mod 9 Brooklyn side. If you ain't see that, go watch that. Now, I mean, leave about five, six comment gangs on that. You heard? Let that algorithm spice it up. You heard? Word up. Marky Lou is good looking, bro. John Doe, the scariest movie I ever seen was that movie, The Fourth Con. Don't watch it. That's all I'm telling you, my nigga. Shout out to Pick and Ave, King of Blocks. That's a fact. But yeah, that's the scariest movie. The other day, I had told y'all it was um, it was um, communion, but it wasn't communion. It was The Fourth Con. I was getting the movies mixed up. That shit, the fourth kind, my nigga, that shit is probably the scariest movie I ever saw in my life, my nigga. That shit had me scared to, scared to go to the bathroom. Nah, man, you don't, I mean, you know, upstate New York got a lot of white supremacy shit going on, my nigga. Niggas be sleeping on New York thinking New York don't got no racist motherfuckers, but... New York got these motherfucking skinheads and all of that crazy shit, too. Trust me. Just upstate, not in the city. And if they are in the city, them niggas low as a motherfucker. You heard? Shot town was populating. Worldwide canvas was really good. Cecil Walker was populating. DB was populating. Yeah, I got to get me a water filter, man. I've been bullshitting. Been saying that shit for like 10 years. I got to get one of them shits, though. Real talk. <sighs> Definitely remember Soul Shack, bro. Know what I mean? A.K.A. The Shack. You heard? That's where I bought all my music for, from as a kid growing up. My nigga on Pickin' Avenue. Then they opened the other record shop that was on motherfucking Rockaway. Know what I mean? That was on Rockaway right there where the motherfucking newsstand used to be at next door. They opened another record store right there on Rockaway next to the newsstand. Big joint. It was a piece of shop at first back in the days. Then they turned it into a motherfucking... No matter of fact, it was a fucking... Um, it was a game room at first. Know what I mean? Then it was a game room record shop. Know what I mean? And they, and they used to sell their records. But the original shit was the shack on Pickin Avenue. The nigga Russ. You heard? The nigga Russ in the shack. Nigga, I done... Man, listen, my nigga. 
I done got niggas autographs, Big Daddy Kings and Slick Ricks and UTFOs and all the niggas. Everybody came to the shack. If you was an artist in the 80s, nigga, you had to come to pick an avenue and sign some records, my nigga. You heard? And I was out there, thirsty. Now, I was too young to be going to the future and shit, my nigga. Like, you feel me? When the future was rocking and popping, I was a, I was a young whippersnapper. But I used to go to motherfucking Club Lodge. Remember Club Lodge in Canarsie? Nigga, I done been to Club Lodge. Know what I mean? I done been in some dangerous-ass clubs that I wasn't supposed to be in, nigga. Trust me. When Speed was open, I used to be in Speed, Barcode. Remember Barcode? That shit got too many people got killed in Barcode. They finally t closed that shit down. Motherfucking... I used to be in all them shits, my nigga. When I came home, the tunnel had closed. So I ain't never really get a chance to rock the tunnel. You heard? Nah, I wasn't smacking nobody for their chains, my nigga. In the 80s, I was a motherfucking kid. You heard? I was a kid trying to keep some crisp felines on my feet or something like that. You heard? I was a kid wearing... I had the motherfucking... Niggas was mad at me, nigga. Remember when I had the motherfucking, when, when Lies first came out, nigga, I had the navy blue Lies. I had the navy blue Lies with the navy blue and green Hawaiian suit. You heard? That's when the Hawaiian suits was out, my nigga. I had the Hawaiian suits with the Lies, with the strap and all that, man. You heard? Niggas was mad at me, my nigga. I was a young fly nigga, man. Niggas couldn't understand, man. Niggas couldn't understand me, man, when I had the motherfucking Hawaiian suit on with the navy blue lies, my nigga. You heard? So when I had the good slope and all of that, man, nigga was rocking the slope and all of that. You heard? It's a fact. I was rocking the Hawaiian suits, my nigga. Word up. But nah, my nigga, I came home, the tunnel got shut down, I got locked back up and shit, you heard? I'm mad I ain't never get a chance to go up in that yunnel, you heard? Because I heard it was a lot of my peoples in there running that shit, nigga. My niggas was running the tunnel. I'm talking about street niggas, I ain't talking about rap niggas. Nah, I ain't never get shot, my nigga. I ain't never get shot. Knock on wood. Pause. What is this nigga doing? Doing you back in the ghetto doing wild shit. Looking at the sun don't pay. Yeah, man. Damn, I forgot I was talking to somebody who was telling me they had some midtown hotel stories too, man. Got to get up with that brother. So I need them crack hotels in Midtown. Know what I mean? I got a song called Crack Hotels. That shit hard. Since crack hotels in Midtown. Me and my niggas, we been down. New York one. I forgot what the fuck I said on that shit. But I wrote some new shit. To, that's fire, man. I wish I could remember it right now. Because I was spitting some things out that motherfucker. I was spitting some things on that, bro. I'm back, you heard? The bogs, the ball game is back, nigga. Hell yeah, I used to shop on Jamaica Ave. I bought the big stupid Averex off Jamaica Ave for like six, seven hundred. You heard? My blue shit with the big Indian head on it. I bought that shit right off Jamaica Ave. You heard? Know what I mean? I had the AV. Let me see. I done bought a lot of shit off Jamaica Ave. Nigga, I used to stay on Jamaica Ave. You heard? That patty spot right there, that little patty spot, the window on Jamaica Ave. They selling patties out the little window. Shit. I used to be fucking them shits up. And then my homegirl uncle had a motherfucking patty spot where they had, he had the vegetarian soy patties even back then, nigga, way back in the early 2000s. I was going out there copping them shits up heavy. You heard? That Jamaican food out there on Jamaican Queens be different, my nigga. I'm going to keep it real. They food game be serious. 
Yeah, that line be too fucking long for them patties, but that should be moving though. That should be moving though. You heard? Then there's another patty spot on that same block. It used to be anyway, but it was all the way down the block on the other side of the street. They patties was all right. But ain't nothing fucking with that patty spot, that window on Jamaica Ave. Them nigga shit was differential. You heard? That shit was differential, nigga. El Domi was popping, my bro. Yeah, man, that Cabello video. Caballo, I be pronouncing that shit wrong. My fault. That shit doing his little numbers, man. Shout out to Born Son. You heard we coming back with the... I'm waiting for them to approve a Born Son um, episode right now. These niggas be taking too long. Hopefully, I could drop that shit tomorrow if it get approved, man. You heard? They fucking up my momentum with that shit, my nigga. Crandall McKnight, appreciate you, bro. Happy New Year. You heard? Yeah, I used to be up in that Coliseum, too, my nigga. I be up in there. I done been up in there a few times. Know what I mean? Yeah, my nigga. Yeah, them Vansons was hard, too. Vansons was hard. I remember those. Flatbush mm -hmm. L.I. was popping. Bills the God TV was populated. Marilyn World was popping. My top three MCs, Pac, Pac, and Pac. Nah, I'm just fucking with y'all niggas. My top three MCs, though, though, is 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 really like uh, Pac, Nas, and Jay, my nigga. Like I love Big to death. I love Big. I love Big, but it's always gonna be like a tie between Big and Jay for number three. But you feel me? Like I don't know, man. Jay Z spit a lot of crazy shit. Big ain't put out enough music, man. It's fucked up. He put out a lot of music, but he ain't put out he ain't put out that much, man. We 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 got caught we got cut short with big, man. Shit is fucked up, man. Same thing with pun. We got cut short. Them niggas ain't get a chance to make enough music. You know what I mean? But um Pac is my all-time favorite. Then I fuck with Nas, you heard? Those are my top two niggas. Then there's a tie between Jay and Big, man. Not even more no East Coast bias shit. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? Those are top Tracy. But you know, it's generations now. If we talking old school, then you know, it's Kane, Slick Rick, Rock Kim. You feel what I'm saying? This is different genres of the shit, man. Real talk. Yeah, that, that joint with Tony Ayo and Vane, it, it was really a freestyle, man. I'm mad we did that shit to a freestyle beat instead of an original beat because can't monetize that shit. That's why you can't never be doing shit to other niggas' beats, my nigga. It always comes to bite you in the ass later on. That Tony Ayo shit, I can't even monetize that shit, my nigga, because that shit got a next nigga beat on it. Like, that was dumb. We should have never did that shit to a next nigga beat. Know what I mean? Finesse the Dawn was popping. Clifton Richards was really good. The patty spot I be fucking with in the Bronx is that shit Kingston Bakery on motherfucking 225th and White Plains Road. I think it's on 226. I don't know if it's on 225th or 6th. But, I mean, motherfucking um, Kingston Bakery. Whoo wee them niggas patties be official. Official. Yeah, man. Today's generation, my nigga, I don't even be listening to niggas' bars, man. I'm going to keep it real. Niggas' bars be too trash nowadays, man. Then the niggas who do got good bars, they be too nerdy for me, my nigga. Like me, I'm, I'm a hard-to-please nigga when it comes to rap. You got to be a hard-ass nigga and nice. You can't be nice and too nerdy. I don't like you. I don't like your. I don't like your balls. And then you can't be motherfucking um too hard, but you garbage. Like niggas be hard and thugs, but they be garbage. Like I need a balance, man. I need a nigga to be hard, pause, but a nigga still be witty, my nigga. Like some rap is too dumb for me. I'm too smart of a nigga. See, when you a smart nigga. 
you can't really tolerate too much dumb rap. Like I be listening to nowadays rap sometimes and I just be like, like I'm too intelligent for this shit, my nigga. I can't be putting this shit in my brain just because it's the new hot shit and I want to pull up in the car with the new hot shit banging. Like, nah, my nigga, I can't be polluting my mind. I done learn too much shit. I ain't trying to unlearn shit. You heard? So I don't even be fucking with this new shit, my nigga. Shit be too fucking toxic and detrimental. Like, niggas don't talk about nothing but murdering the ops and fucking bitches and nothing in their face. And, like, I mean, like, it's too much for me, my nigga. Like, I need a little science in there, my nigga. I need a little intellect in there. Like, you feel me? Half a mil, half a mil allegedly died from suicide. I don't know how true that is, but that that's that's mm -hmm. what they say that he died from suicide. So it isn't you know what I mean? Luckily, Sonny, son wasn't no victim of no violence or no shit like that from nobody else, as far as we know, as far as I know. You feel me? But um, half a mil was from Albany Projects. Yeah, I'm about to keep it moving on my nigga Urban Jenkins. I appreciate it, but I'm about to keep it moving, bro, because I've been on here for an hour and shit. It's cold. It ain't freezing like that, but I'm about to get the fuck up out of here, my nigga. You heard? But yeah, rest in peace, my nigga. Half a mil, one of the greatest that ever lived. You understand what I'm saying? Rest in peace, my nigga. Sean Price, one of the greatest that ever lived. Yeah, I know that bakery between Nostrand Avenue and Pacific and all of that, but I don't remember them having patties. Like, I used to be going there getting the crescent rolls. I don't think they got vegetarian patties. That's what it is. See, I'm a vegetarian, so I don't think they had vegetarian patties at that Nostrand Avenue joint between Dean and Pacific, but they crescent roll game. I think that bakery is Trinidadian. They crescent roll game, though, in that bakery, my nigga. Psh, them shits was different. I used to be going all the way to Brooklyn just to get them fucking crescent rolls from that bakery, my nigga. They just make them shits perfect in that bakery. I don't know what it is. Post Vision was really good. Red Rum 151 was really good. Yeah, my bros, but yo, I'm about to skedaddle, my nigga. I'm going to try to start checking in more often, man, because I'm falling off on my live shit. What happened was, <coughs> what happened was, <coughs> remember my shit with my sneakers and all of that, my closet? I tried to move that shit, my nigga, and that shit fell and collapsed, my nigga. Shit almost knocked my head off and all of that, like, I was depressed pressed over that so now i gotta build my whole closet situation back up again shit whack bro you heard shit whack shit almost smashed me though real talk my nigga yeah my nigga but it is some de I, I know what they it's hard to make. A lot of niggas be thinking they cocoa bread be official, but they shit don't be official like that shit on White Plains Road. I'm going to keep it real with you. Spot on White Plains Road. Then there's this other bakery on 219th and, and, and White Plains Road. This little small ass bakery. Them niggas make the greatest fresh baked bread on the planet Earth, my nigga. And that's a fact. Fort Green in the building, H-Town in the building was populating. Shit, nigga, I lost weight. I just had I just had that bullshit ass fake COVID shit or whatever the fuck I had for the last motherfucking week or so. Nigga, listen, I lost about five pounds, my nigga. And that ain't no bullshit. I done lost about five, six pounds, my nigga. Word up. Alright, yeah, I'm about to call it a night because another dude is lingering by my car you know niggas be ling niggas be stalking me for my parking spot man know what I mean word is Bon Jovi yeah my nigga
Yeah, but if y'all niggas ain't up on that half a mil, man, make sure y'all go go on YouTube and put in half a mil, my nigga. I mean, listen to the hustle, don't stop. Listen to some niggas. Listen to motherfucking uh, listen to motherfucking fires in hell. Listen to only you. Listen to motherfucking um, man, there's so much joints half a mil got, man. My favorite joint, though, is that Only You, my nigga. I love all his joints, my nigga. My, my shit, I'm a motherfucking um, thug love. That's my shit. But I love that motherfucking... Wake up in the... Wake up in my water bed. Kiss my booze. <laughs> that nigga stupid, my nigga. Listen to that half a mil, Only You. Nigga said, wake up in my water bed. We said some shit. Kiss my booze. See, I learned... See, I'm known to make they. I'm learn. I'm known to make they shake they ass like Mr. Cool. If if Mackin was a what that nigga said, I forgot what that nigga. He said some funny shit. If Mackin was a, I'd be the principal. It'd be no more border head, just the border head. Yo, that nigga was talking crazy on that. Only you, my nigga. The illest nigga since Pac. Straight off a of death row. 17 carrots on my left toe. Nigga, hello. That nigga was talking crazy. He said, I know that's your wife, dog, but that's my best hoe. That nigga was going crazy on that only you joint, my nigga. That nigga half a mil. Because I might whisper in the ear, baby, only you. Only you. That shit is nuts. To the stoop on love When I could not do Lobster and shrimp My son will tell you pops a pimp And I'm still gangster Make thugs hop the fence When I'm wetting off your fiance I call a wedding off How she gonna marry a nigga When his head is off Yerk That nigga half a mil be talking crazy nigga I got a deadly sauce. Bury your boss. That nigga be going in. Yeah. Bro, them coast to coast mixtapes were serious. You know, I, I used to be putting in heavy work on them coast to coast mixtapes. I got like 50, 50 exclusive coast to coast freestyles that's out there. And I used to be showing my ass on them coast to coast mixtapes my nigga so put in saint lads coast to coast mixtapes my nigga and you will hear exclusive freestyles that you won't hear nowhere else but on. then i got then i got a coast to coast a host um saint lads coast to coast mixtape with a lot of those freestyles on them shits and then a lot of exclusive that's one of the greatest mixtapes i ever put out though the coast to coast mixtape series shout out to the boy little fats from coast to coast Know what I mean, I put some work in on that on that mixtape series for a fact. I be doing you, bro. You too, my bro. How you? All right. Yeah, bro, that coast to coast shit, man. It's mad at them shits, my nigga. I had some very vicious freestyles on there, and you know why them shits was vicious? Because I was fucking um, I wasn't using nobody else's beats straight original beats and then we had coast to coast ciphers with all type of niggas my nigga yeah i got a joint with motherfucking um what's that what's son name from the west coast um damn what's son name from the west coast man niggas a mad major nigga i forgot son's name man Psst. what the fuck is son name from the west coast he one of the biggest rappers on the west coast man but I got a song, we got a freestyle, I got a freestyle with that nigga. Um, for another one with 40 Glock on, on, on them coast to coast shit. Mad niggas, my nigga. Mad, mad celebs. We was putting in work before niggas was celebs and all of that. YG, that's who I'm thinking about. Put in St. Laz, YG, coast to coast mixtape. It's gonna come up with, with a freestyle where after YG spit his verse, I come on. And we both murdered that shit, my nigga. But I spit some, I spit some different shit on that shit, my nigga. Trust me. I spit some different shit on that, my nigga. 
Man, that's a fact. But I was, I used to be murdering them coast to go. Now nah, I see you, my nigga. You ain't gotta bonk all of that. Suck my dick. Fuck out of here, nigga. Nigga bonking his horn all fucking crazy, looking in my face, nigga. Like, I see you, nigga. I ain't even gonna shit on niggas' cars, man. Cause you know what I mean. I'm bigger than that, but don't be bonking your horn when you driving some bullshit, nigga. Don't be bonking your horn all loud and all of that, my nigga. I see you, my nigga. You happy? You got a car? I understand. Salute, my nigga. You did it, my nigga. You made it. You made it in life, my nigga. It's a nigga around my way that got a Cherokee that that shit is fucking heat. He got the hottest Cherokee I ever saw. Real talk, nigga got the yellow and white shit with the yellow rims. Yellow, he got the yellow mag rims on his shit with the big yellow rally stripe on, coming, going down the whole roof in the hood of his shit. His shit look different. Real talk. Shit, my nigga, I got so many tracks to Casa One Beats is disgusting. Shout out my bro Casa One, man. Me and that nigga did like 300 songs. You heard? And, and, and let me tell you something. I'm glad you mentioned Casa One. If you a rapper out there, you know I've been doing some serious collabs lately. I don't think his shit is a track hawk, but it, it, it looks great. You understand what I'm saying? I don't know if track hawks be coming with them rally stripes, but I love them rally stripes on them Cherokees. But yeah, like on some G shit. If you a rapper out there, my nigga, and you trying to get that collab in with me, listen to what I'm telling you. I'm sitting on, I'm sitting on ultra beats, you know? I'm sitting on ultra beats, my nigga, next level ultra beats, you know? So if you a rapper and you trying to get a song done with, with the G-O-D, holla at me, my nigga, I got that heat. And if you a producer and you want a song done from LAZ on your beat, holla at me, my nigga, and get that shit done in the first 48, you know? 48 hours, that shit is in your email. I get to busy, but now I mean, shout out to the bro, the mayor. Now I mean, I just did a song with Son. Now I mean, the collabs is coming in. I'm knocking them shits out. So rappers, holler at me, bro. I'm about to, I'm about to call it a night, man. I'ma holler at y'all dudes, man. Peace.